welcome to what I think is part 79 of Tales of Hysteria. It will hopefully be one of the last parts of Tales of Hysteria. Um, but you never know. Well, I'm eating food, so I'm going to turn my microphone off. Something's wrong. Yeah, all these bodies of Highland soldiers, but no sign of the people who live here. <clears throat> Ow! It's a barrier. It must be something Zenris set up to prevent humans from breaking in. Gramps! It's me, Saray! Saray? Saray, you're back! Yes, thank goodness! Saray! Oh, thank goodness. I'm so glad you're all okay. Where's Gramps? He told us to wait here. He said that he was going to go drive out the humans. He went out alone in all this malevolence? I'm sorry. We should have been there with him. But even if we had, we would only have gotten in his way. We left him out there to die. Hey, like Lila keeps saying, reflection good, regrets bad. There's no way Gramps would fall so easily. Saray. I'll go find him. Kaim, everybody, stay right here. If everyone else was safe, Gramps must be too. Where's the gate of the Dawn of Chaos that Gramps headed towards? There's only one place in Elysia it could be. It's her! We can no longer tell how you will respond. And so... As you can see, we determined this to be the only remaining option available to us. You did this? Whatever plots you hatch, it doesn't matter. I already have my answer. Do you hate me then? Do you wish to plunge that sword into my breast? Where is Gramps, Simone? He went to the Gate of the Dawn of Chaos to drive away the Earth Dwellers flooding in. So it's far too late at this point to do anything. Looks like our dear purple Petunia is worried. Saray has most likely grown a lot stronger than she anticipated. Yeah, she knows that no matter what she does, Saray will brush it right off. It's got her quivering in her dainty little shoes. But a cornered dog is likely to bite. If it comes down to her last resort, do you think Saray can really just brush it off? It worries me. Well, we just won't let it get to that. Simple enough, right? Yes. He shouldn't have to know how it feels. Not even if he thinks he's ready for it. Edna. Looks like our Edna's in serious mode. Looks like our Zavid's pretty serious mode himself. For once. That's a good thing, Zavid. Please make serious mode your default from now on. Oh, I can't refuse the request of such a pretty lady. Just watch, I'll be serious. Lee in love. Hey, you married? Would you like to be? Lila, you idiot. He would have stayed that way if you'd just left him alone. I'm sorry.
What is this? He was the one who brought in the soldiers. What a fool he was, right up to the very end. Muse! <sighs> Lila, quickly! Heal her! <gasps> Are you alright? Sense malevolence, but it's not too late if I still have my life to give. What are you doing? Don't try to move. Please, dear Seraph, I need to. I must do this. I want to give the world reason to hope, even should it cost me my life. But why? Because I believe. I believe that the children raised by Seraph Zenrus will one day grow to become a shepherd and his companion. I believe they will lead us to hope for the future. A bright future where humans and Seraphim can live hand in hand. And that is your answer. Please, my staff. I do believe in your wish, and I know it will surely come true. Thank you. Mikleo, I... I'm so sorry. I'm fine. I'm sure we'll find Zenris just up ahead. And our missing Maltellus as well. Not to mention Catface. Let's get it on! Yeah. Everyone, let's do this! The prologue to the final act, huh? Lord Heldoff, my master. Can these people truly be stained with the colors you desire? But then, it is my job to see that they are. Yeah. Must be Simone. Definitely. Hmm. I wonder what she's playing at. Let's stay on guard. to regenerate, just like immortals or something. They're weak against non-elemental attacks, so we should try to paralyze them.
Don't overdo it, Rose. Oh, red freezing oh, 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 Just don't underestimate it, all right? Of course! I won't let my guard down just because it's fun one. I swear, you really are a kid sometimes. I'll protect you. Protect the 
Weapons? Ready! Yeah, Lord of Love! Don't let him hit the sky! Not that down! Let it be! 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 Let Time for battle. We're gonna get yeah. Hop of wave. I'm not that bad. Freezing strike. Lord of Love. Here's the sky. Yeah. 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 Here's the sky. Open the yeah. gate. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the sky. Here's the sky. Gonna feel the burn. Arrow squall. Bring it heat. What a joke. Here's the sky. Arrow squall. Let's break down! 
Open the floodgates! Open the floodgates! This is Simone's doing. Yeah. We don't have any time to lose. Let's blow through this one. You got it! <gasps> What's going on? I can't deal with this! This is pointless! Knock it off! Stand in our way. Creepy clones? Lame. Looks like you're running out of ideas, honey pie. This is just the beginning. Huh. Sounds like you were right on target. Shut up! Lila, it would be tough for a Seraph to withstand this much malevolence without a vessel, wouldn't it? Huh? Y yes The Seraph would have a difficult time wielding his powers. I thought so. I guess she's running out of ideas for what kind of illusions to make. Looks like it. But let's proceed with caution. Yeah, the most important thing is to keep calm in these kinds of situations. Tell me, why are they called vampires? Well, don't they suck your blood? Once it bites you, it may never let you go. Let's make sure that doesn't happen.
Weapons ready! Let's 
again? Don't flag on the ground. Ready? 
You don't really want to do this, do you? That feeling gnawing at you is what brought us to life. Did you know that? Oh, please. We're not so dumb as to fall for that garbage. Simone, are you getting desperate? You go to hell! Simone. Afraid that we'll defeat Heldorf, huh? Never! You have no chance! Grabbing all the power! Break through! Be gone! Iron Park slapped off! Sorry, Mikey! Spoon is down! You have a fight! Get your shot! No escape! Here, Mikey! Let's go. But Simone's just gonna throw more of her crap at us! I bet she will, but it won't be anything we need to worry about. Probably not. Even her illusions are starting to lose their spectacle. She can make passable imitations of Rose and Saray, sure, but it's looking like everything else is beyond her reach. Yeah, if she could scare us with anything she wanted, you'd think there'd be more guts and stuff. Spleens. Spleens? Anyway, let's keep moving forward. Right. We don't want to let her stall us here while we talk about how bad she is at her job. Yeah. She sure is trying. It's kind of getting annoying. But I feel like the effects of her technique are weakening. Simone... Could it be? Well, that's quite enough of that. Um, we will resume this next time. I guess we're gonna fight Simone. Uh, she is, after all, what appears to be the main villain of this portion of the game. Anyway, thanks for watching.